All right, we are back immediately. Didn't even have time to take a sip of my water. We love a 2-3. We love a 2-2 two -two with, with upside. We love 2-2-2s. Two -two I think you actually... We'd be a, a hard masseuse. I will say, when I had to go to physiotherapy because my back was a little bit messed up, there were times I was getting massaged, and I was like, you must have worked for the CIA. <laughs> Hold on. I, got, I think I got my screen region slightly off there. There you go. I was like, there's no way you didn't learn these tactics at the Central Intelligence Agency. I simply don't. I, I can't be made to believe otherwise. I would take... We really want the 1-1 one, one buffs to hit two different units. Wait, it's one... You only get one right now. That's fine. Okay, that's, that's actually maybe even great. We're gonna get a mosquito to level up. I really would prefer the beetle to level up. Holy cow, you're strong. Um, that's just insane. Your, your team... You got... The otters have, have propelled you to greatness. Fair enough. Well, it looks like we're gonna be running a little mosquito team. I, I've seen a blowfish work, okay? I hate to tell you that I think that a stork is just better. So what I'm actually going to do is freeze both storks, roll once, sell my 1-2 otter, put a stork out there, yeah, but then hopefully start feeding a level 2 beetle to buff this stork up and the beetle a little bit more. Because it's like, that was great news for us. We're, we're not quite there yet. It's not bad. Holy cow, what an amazing toucan play. I was, so, I was already counting my winnings. Still. Still. Here's something you're not going to see every day. Sell me? <laughs> Hold on. No, that makes no sense. Here's something we're going to do. We're going to freeze this. We're going to bring you out here. Now you're a 3-4. We're going to roll. We got a lot of meat on the table right now. I'm starting to feel like maybe I've given up too much to try to be like overly cute with the team. Man, if you did three damage, that would have been stellar for me. But you know what? We're, we still won this, which means our snail has no reason to be frozen, but that's okay. At least we got a, a, a single dub here. I would keep both frozen, and I would go with this. I, why not? I think it's actually early enough that a worm could pop. And rather than... Well, I don't know, because like... It's tough. A giraffe gives 1-1 one, one for every turn. A croissant gives 1 and 1-1 one, one on this turn. Okay, I would probably go giraffe first on the, on the worm. Save a croissant. Don't worry so much about a lollipop. And then start feeding the worm next turn. But again, as with any team where you're like, okay, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> you got a strong peacock. Congratulations. As with any team where you're like focused on strongs, like scaling... Um, we need to not lose. And we just lost and got put on lethal, right? No, okay, that's huge. To, to be two away from lethal makes a big difference, I think. So, somebody's got to go to make space. And it's a tough decision. It's not an easy decision. If I may be so bold, it's probably the stork, even though I love it. it, it I just don't want to believe it, but I, it's the right play. I don't commit... To the level 2 snail, I let nature take its course. I give you one of those. I probably give you a croissant over buying a trash unit. Except that this will also give you a 1-1 one, one buff next time. And maybe then we talk about putting a pineapple on a mosquito. Round 6, we got a 7-10, an 8-10, and a 9-9. Nine, nine. This, to me, has the makings of, of a run that at least we're not super disappointed by. Like, it has the makings of a run that can go somewhere. Why don't you take a croissant? 
This is adding six extra damage per turn for three gold. That seems nice to me. And then why don't we get a little sell? Feed your worm. Why don't we get a little buy into a cell and you feed your worm? Your 2-1 unit became a 2-2 buff for on, on your worm here. And then we're no death touch, so let's set it up like this. Then we're going to buy one more unit. Like, it depends. What do you care the most about? Gold or HP on another unit? I would actually buy a chinchilla. This sounds crazy. Sell it to roll and see if you get another better unit. And I actually think that the mouse... Maybe I'm over-investing in a mouse instead of a unit that could have some permanency for us, but I, I think it seems to be doing some pretty solid work for us right now. Saved. Great ant luck. Gr great ant luck. I really appreciate all the ant luck you've given me there. Feel like we're starting to dig ourselves out of a little bit of a hole. How about you sell me? Buy me. Sell me. One gold, technically, for a 2-2 buff. I don't disrespect it. I don't think we do another giraffe. It is better than no unit, though. <laughs> true. Uh, that's pretty true. Yeah. I would love to buy a food instead of leveling this turn. Okay, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. It's, I think you should buff the giraffe. I think, and, and honestly, actually, now that I look, I believe it or not, I think you sell the mosquito. Nine, nine mosquito that does nine damage random. No, 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 I only wanted to sell the mosquito because it was three gold. But it does get your caterpillar out a turn early. And I think that this team makes sense for caterpillar because we have one big unit. One big unit is like the ultimate caterpillar setup. Don't do it. Don't. Oh, you did it. You did it. Hard to imagine this one being a dub. Impossible to imagine this one being a dub. I think if we're on lethal... That means it's too late for the caterpillar to work. It's just too much of a risk. That being said, let's get weird with it and put a leopard out there. That'll start soaking up some buffs, but then we give our worm the buff because it's the most important thing in the world. And then we're hoping through all of this, and I think I'm content here. Maybe we put a chili pepper on our worm. I think we're content that we won't get death touched by a scorpion just because of our mosquito and... Uh, let's go! Our mosquito and leopard coverage. Probably this is a, a very good example of a squad that could use some garlic on any unit. <clears throat> like probably on our worm, for example. Please. You had one job. I'm rolling. I, I, think, I think it's a garlic or I, I'm never going to say no to this. And to be honest with you, I think the beetle has to go in order to speed up your scaling here a little bit. Maybe we don't even need a level two worm because our level one worm is like almost maxed. The next chocolate would probably be better off going to the leopard. Killing the caterpillar. I don't know if it was going to grow into a beautiful butterfly, but it seems like that was wise. It seems like that went well. Leopard is just a fun animal, too. It's just nice to have it on the squad. All snipers are, like, they're fun in their own way. I will continue to buff you. I, would, I, I know the value of the level 2 meat. Would I take a 50-50 shot? I would. And uh, honestly, it's still fine. Maybe not good, but it's It's fine. You need a melon, and then you're probably capped. I would say that's where we could leave you. But we, d we need a better, like 140-45 is not going to get you there. Because we get, I mean, we're, we get death touch so easily. I'm okay. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm not crying. Our squad just beat Sniper, Lionfish, Lioness team. That feels nice, honestly. That We, we got the respectability. Definitely take this. Two extra damage doesn't seem like it moves the needle for me. A giraffe doesn't seem like it moves the needle for me. Sure, sushi has some value. It's not really... We don't need a level two worm. It doesn't, it doesn't tilt things for us. Let's take some sushi, though. You, you got enough of a buff that I'm feeling good. I don't know, man. It's, it's still hard to imagine in July 2022, this team gets to 10. 
There's some really advanced teams out there. <laughs> Our team right now is like just a guy. Hold on here. We received uh, some sort of delivery. Hold on, we're killing the dog in a hit. Dude, we're actually gonna live through this one. Like, we're, we're gonna run into like a three dog, two caterpillar team any second now. So we gotta find a way through. Go ahead and take a melon, even though you need a lot more support. I don't really want the death touch, even though I know it can be amazing. It just, it overwrites some stuff for me. I do want a pair on our, uh, well, I don't know, maybe you sell a cow actually, and then you run a leopard at the front. I'm still putting the giraffe buff on you, but we'll probably soon, we'll talk about like selling a giraffe. Really what I'm looking for more than anything else is a level two leopard. And preferably a level 3 leopard that could really do some damage. Like, here's two... What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And the math is horrendous for us on that one. But two level 3 caterpillars and a hippo. I'm, I'm happy we got the 7. I think there was it was a mercy that we got the 7. But I knew that our time was numbered. Our time was limited. 4-1 pig is fine. This is great. I, I think they've saved us a little here. Maybe a creamy, oh, I don't know, broken package is also good. Because it could be something somebody heaved on your doorstep, or it could be the start of the DJ Qualls film, The New Guy, if you know what I'm talking about. I'll accept my draw. I don't mind that draw against a strong otter-driven team. I don't mind fishing for a level. I don't mind fishing for a level. And to be honest, I think that Big Pig can kind of go off. We're just running anti-pig technology at the front, and then letting our 4-3, hopefully 2 for 1. Anti-pig technology at the front. Business in the front, party in the back. There's our two for one. And then we draw. <laughs> After all that, we draw. We soul read them for a draw. I will still place value on the stork. But I'm not going to sell two ducks into a stork. I'll just take the stork. Pig levels. Early giraffe. Honestly, the ducks are going nowhere. I feel like I would... No, no offense to the fans of the franchise. I would sell a duck to slightly buff a giraffe and just leave our other duck. Freeze meat for the giraffe. Freeze peach for the pig. You know what? Not just for the pig. Freeze peach for everybody. How did he get so based? Uh, we definitely lose this one. I'm not making excuses. Level 2 otter and dog, though. What's it like to be the game's chosen son? Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And roll once. If we're going to keep a pig around, and it seems like we are, we should croissant rather than give it a 1-1. One, one. Because the croissant applies indefinitely in the future, the 1-1 one, one and the level don't really do much for us. Give me a 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Two, one. Two, one. This is amateur hour? Okay, we won though. That's that feels good. Okay, we're still we're retooling the team, okay? I don't really love any of these animals that are in the shop. I would that which means I would buy a pig, I think. I don't think it's too late for a peacock. I just like. I don't know. I guess I'm just a little bored by it. I'll, I'll give you more stat buffs. What I'm really kind of fishing for, to be honest with you, I, I mean, I'm, I'm running big pig, knowing that in the future we're going to run into problems with death touch, even if it does get to a decent level. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing the thing that oftentimes causes me problems on the daily, on the weekly, I should say, where I'm waiting for good animals to show up, and then I forget that like I don't consider any of the animals like late game worthy until you get to tier four, so why am I waiting? I think that's, that's a very fair assessment of a flaw in my game plan. And then I'm, I'm rolling two giraffes, okay? I'm continuing to buff a pig, which I think is actually astute for the record. Now, what I would also say is that at this point, pig garlic more than pig croissant. I think we got some value out of the croissant, and now it's time to make our, our only good unit a little tankier. Give it a little, the ability to have a little extra support. But this, you, you see it for yourself right now. This squad is actually working just fine. 
It's not crushing teams, but it, it did put together like a nice little streak there. The, the caterpillar was like a necessary part of the plan. I still think even though it takes stats away effectively, I would still do that for you. I just think it's better for us like long term. I think you're always going to love having more defense. Okay, now we're talking. I mean, I, I, I've been accused of freezing peaches in a pear world, but I still, I think that just because the pear is better doesn't mean the peach is necessarily bad. Okay, it's garlic. It's garlic's time to shine. It's garlic's time to shine. The only thing that matters really is pumping this pig's stats and then pumping the caterpillar's XP. And I, I honestly, I feel like that turn was amazing. Now, I couldn't tell you what else we saw in our shop. <laughs> I, I couldn't. <laughs> I had tunnel vision completely on, uh, on what we got from our, uh, from our uh, uh, food area there, our cafeteria. But still, that's great news, great work, okay? At this point, I probably wouldn't be stoked about purchasing a peach. I like a, a level two stork, even though we haven't done anything to buff our stork. I like a level two stork. And to be straight up with you, I think that's your play. The lionfish is a, gr it, it's great at overriding melons, which is valuable. It's great at overriding like meat, but the number one thing that it's best at is overriding death touch so you don't just get bodied. What can you say? I mean, like, you know, the, you can chart the course for yourself. You got a dog and I didn't. Congratulations to you. I do want a snail, but not that concerned. I do want a caterpillar. I would, sushi's fine. I would rather roll for something, yes. Like, I mean, chocolate's gonna get the, you, we don't need a level three pig. Chocolate's not necessary because you're gonna level up next turn anyway, but chocolate, uh, double chocolate on a lionfish actually can change the, the tone of the game completely. That's a one for one, in case you're keeping score. Holy cow. Dude, garlic, the garlic pivot was the smartest thing I've ever done in this game. I think we have a chance at 10. It's, I don't want to say it's an outside shot, because maybe it's not actually that far off, but... Okay, we need a level two lionfish. As much as I like the stork, I, to be honest with you, we might actually keep the stork. Because <laughs> I think it, it is a nice level two. Although, would we rather have a leopard? I don't know. Either way, I think maybe the giraffe is gone and the stegosaurus is going to crank you to basically max anyway, which obviously helps our caterpillar as well. Leopard maybe is not what we're looking for. Fly is not what we're looking for. Could you sell a stork for a cow? Just being honest with you, I don't think you need to. Now let's see what this level two lionfish can do. It's a very strong team. Holy cow, a hit buff. My God, it, it, my, my, my strategy worked. <laughs> it all played out according to plan. The level two lionfish helped us out a great deal. That's seven. I would love a level three lionfish. I would love a level two stegosaurus. Not interested. Probably interested still. Although, what do we buff? Because you're get, you're a 39, 40. Yeah, we could buff you once. Okay. Well, we honestly at this point we don't even need to because this is now now you're overkilled. So we don't really need a pair for anything. You would act, if anything. I'm like, well, you could sell a stork to give 12, 12 stat points to something. What are you giving the stat points to? I don't know. I guess you'd be giving it to the to the other Stegosaurus. Melon on pig is like insanely important. Two fifty fifties is is nice here. There, I mean, if I'm being honest, there is a part of me that thinks the actual play is. Oh my god, we two for one the fifty fifties. But then, oh no 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 no! But you're no, you're not that strong. <laughs> There's a part of me that thinks maybe we just actually fish for another caterpillar and, and try to feed it as much chocolate as possible. Because I don't know if another Stegosaurus even makes sense. You're already 50-50, which means you're 50-50. To be honest with you, actually, I feel like you just never say no to a 
stat buff that you can apply to a unit of your choice. And then you pr level three lionfish would also be insane. But I feel like getting two level two stegosauruses so that we could have close to three 50-50s is also nice. It's unfortunate we're not going to overwrite the that one on you. But I, you know what? We still made it through. Caterpillar is such a high risk, high reward animal this week, man. Because it slows you way down. We'll talk about this. We love that. No, it's like at this point, it's, it's overkill, I think. <laughs> Unless... I think we'd be better off like giving you a stake and then hoping you, you won for one something. And then a level three lionfish could make a big difference. Actually, like it could make a huge difference. Well, we didn't overwrite cheese, which is unfortunate because it would have saved us a little there. I think we're definitely going to lose this one. Well, no, we, we are. Okay. That's a strong team. Fly shark. It's good stuff. Big rooster too, no doubt. What do you think? Second caterpillar? Try to get a second caterpillar off, uh, off the line. Okay, hear me out. What do you think about swapping these guys now? Putting melon on this one. We could draw this round. So we have to think about the future, and a level three lionfish would, would be that future. Maybe we could get a badge, by the way, for having a level three stegosaurus, but I don't want the badge. I'm, I just want to win, because <laughs> I'm so sick of freaking losing. That, insane three for one. Thank you so much. Dude, great, what a fun performance we had here. Big Pig gets the job done again. And I, I love this team. I think we actually made some good plays. I gotta tell you, getting 10 wins in the weekly in July is like getting 20 wins in like normal Super Auto Pets last January. So like the level of the competition is crazy. It feels good to get a, a decent performance again. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. That was a great deal. I'll see you next time. I know there's a lot of this weekly. I love it though. <laughs>